Come do my bi-weekly catheter care while I answer some of my most frequently asked catheter questions. I have a suprapubic catheter, which is a surgically placed catheter that goes through my lower abdomen into my bladder and drains pee for me 24 hours a day. This is because I'm a paraplegic and my bladder is paralyzed. One of my most commonly asked questions about my catheter is people wondering if it's painful, and unfortunately for me it's quite painful. I've had a lot of complications with my catheter. I am very grateful for it, but it has also caused me a lot of pain and harm. I have a specialty type of catheter because a normal catheter rubbed a little gouge out of my bladder, which was extremely painful and was not good for me in the long term, so we switched over to a type called a pigtail catheter that doesn't have a balloon and instead has a little loop that holds my catheter in place. This has worked out way better for me since I have extremely sensitive skin due to a genetic disorder, so the inside of my bladder was just too sensitive for the balloon to be rubbing like it was. Now that I have a new type, it is a lot less painful, but it is still unfortunately rather painful. I have bladder spasms that can be extremely painful, but they only happen a couple times a day. Another question I get frequently is people asking if I can still swim, and every doctor gives a different answer, but my doctor says that I'm allowed to swim as long as I cap off the end of my catheter, and she gives me little caps that I can put at the end of it, and that just makes it so water and bad bacteria don't get in my bladder while I swim. Swimming and showering are the only times I disconnect from my catheter, so those both are very freeing activities for me. I think probably my third most commonly asked question is people asking if I still can get my period, which that question doesn't quite make sense to me because those organs are completely different, but I understand that education surrounding periods is not great. So yes, I still get my period as normal as your bladder and your reproductive organs are separate. People are also quite curious about if I can have children, and yes, I could have children. I have a spinal cord injury, so that does not affect my reproductive organs whatsoever. But I do have a genetic disorder, so it's very unlikely I will ever choose to have biological children. It's unknown how likely it is for me to pass down my genetic disorder, but I just wouldn't want to risk it. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I hope everyone has a great day.